there's some part of theory is also there. There are a lot of theory is there. Uh, but I want to show you uh, one or two practicals. OK, so two practicals. Then I will uh, will go with the afternoon some theory and then some practical. OK. So that is we'll see, but I just I don't want to forget few things. So that's why I'm writing here. Sign in options. Our options. This is a you know you must uh, everybody knows like a general maintenance power options. These two are I will tell theory and basic uh, thing only. So it's guys. First of all, I'm going to start my virtual machine. So I'll show you one practical for you. Okay. And uh, later uh, afternoon I will show you how to change this um, uh, VM net one to VM net zero settings. Okay. So just this is a 4 GB RAM. OK, so this is a 4 GB RAM when I install with the 4 GB RAM. But what I'm going to do is I'm changing my RAM to 2 GB. OK, I'm changing to 2 GB. Very simple. Say so it is in a 4 GB. I change it to 2 GB. Click OK. So this is my 2 GB RAM. You can view see it is my 2 GB RAM. How I change go to edit virtual machine settings. Then I select. 2 GB RAM. OK, so this is how I, I change it. And powering on my machine. So to show you that 2 GB is enough for a, your Windows 10 for our practical purpose. 1 GB is slows your Windows 10 that too we are using Windows 10 64 bit. You, you, otherwise you can try Windows 10 32 bit if you have a very less RAM capacity. So let it start. It will take time. OK, so what I want to show you is first of all user management. Okay. First of all, sir. user management. Yeah. yeah, tell me. Sir, my RAM is 4 GB. Very good. Uh, shall I proceed with 32 bit? Yes. Uh, you can do 32 also. You can try. OK. So when we are downloading 32 64 both are there now select 32 yes, download 32 bit and when you are creating virtual machine Windows 10 only not 64 Windows 10 only so that's it. And if you are 4 GB RAM candidates if you already download 64 bit OS already downloaded 64 bit OS. OK, so what to do? Put a 1 GB RAM only. OK. It is slower. OK, it is slower, but you can put a 1 GB RAM. No problem. 4 GB physical total RAM 1 GB even for a 32 bit or a 64. You already downloaded 64 bit OS. What to do? Use that OS only. No need to download again. Use 1 GB RAM for your 64. OK, you are not yet downloaded any OS. Then download 32. Okay. Okay. Sir. Okay. So that's guys. Here it is. User management. Our Windows operating system as administrator or Windows 10 or Windows 7 or Windows 8 as an administrator. By default. You know it is disabled. More. So it is not there. It is disabled. Administrator username administrator is there default, but it is disabled. Username is administrator. But who is administrator of Windows 10? By default, first user created while voice is installation that user is administrator. 
okay by default who is the administrator the first user we creating right that is a by default administrator so for me for me i created a user is student one so he is my administrator is my administrator default administrator is disabled with the username administrator that is disabled already you want to enable it you can enable it no problem but by default my administrator is student one only next so user accounts are usually two types one is administrator account second one is standard account administrator account standard account yes little bit confusion is there because i use administrator account administrator username and uh, student one is admin or administrator administrators group will be there okay so next one is groups different type of groups are there what are the groups administrators group group member of this administrators group is administrators next one is users group users group any user either it is administrator or a standard user is belongs to users group only administrators also belongs to administrators group also belongs to administrators groups so this is completely local user accounts only so local users i am talking user management i am talking completely about a local local accounts only i am talking i am not talking about any other things okay so in your system by default administrator account is there but it is in disabled okay next one is first user you created while installing operating system that user is administrator so i created student one my administrator is student one only next two type of your accounts mainly administrator account guest account standard account guest guest is guest only no other names for example here it is student one is administrator okay for example i will create another user called as student two for example is a standard user standard user and uh, and who is a guest no guest it is directly guest name is guest only guest name is guest only there is no guest group kind of stuff okay student 3 guest like that we can't put it okay like right. next number of admins depends upon you you can put a number of admins you can make this one as a admin also this one make as a standard user also okay remember we can you can change standard user to admin user and uh, admin to standard user also okay guys user is just a name and uh, type is administrator type account standard account guest account okay so guest is a guest and standard account means like this okay again administrator administrator has full rights administrator administrator account okay administrator okay has full rights okay he can do anything okay full rights means highly privileged user he has a lot of privileges to change uh, any settings he can able to 
uh, change settings. Okay, you can able to install um, any applications. Okay, change the settings. Applications can access any files or folders. Folders in any location. So that is administrator full rights. Very powerful. Very powerful. Okay. Standard accounts. Limited rights. Okay. Cannot change settings, install or uh, uninstall applications. Cannot access limited file and uh, folder access permissions. So that is standard account. So of course guest is also there. Guest is is a guest only guest is has no rights except accessing internet browser access like that. OK. Very limited. Very limited access. Practically no permission to do anything. No permission to create anything or anything. OK, just no permissions to do or uh, change. OK, do or a change kind of stuff only guest is guest only that's come and see and get out from it. okay so this is about your accounts now how to create an account two ways or three ways you can able to create it the first way i will show you first so how to create a, an account guys i will show you first and i will ask you if you tell i do it okay so that is my way so we'll see So this is a login to my account. So just uh, wait for uh, some time. Not record. I think already it is on. The first way is. In a Windows 10 guys, it is a Windows 10 Windows 7 Windows 8 is different. Windows 10 is the first way of creating Windows 10 way is settings. First go to settings. OK, go to accounts. Go to accounts. Click accounts. OK, it is see local account administrator. You can see account name local account administrator. OK, so this is you can put up your password and all you want to log in with the Microsoft account. You can log in with the Microsoft here. OK, you can sign in with the Microsoft account also. So that is a sign in options. OK, sign in with a Microsoft account. Next one is this is sign in with Microsoft account. And also you can sign in with a work or school account. It means I am working in an organization, right? Savant is organization. Savant is took a Microsoft account. OK, Office 365 account is there. So I can add a Savant is account here. OK, like that. So I can add a 70s email account here. This is sign in options. If you look at a sign in options, you can see how you want to log in. How you want to log in. You can look at you can use a passwords, picture password, security key, pin number, fingerprint, hello face. 
So you can see the features of sign-in options. Okay, you can see the things. So how to take a simple snapshot? Okay, I uh, cutting up to here. Okay, so you can get a what are the sign in options. But you if you want don't want this one also you can yeah. So first the settings in accounts in accounts we are getting this information. OK, I will forward this one so you will get a notes of sign in options. OK, guys. Email and accounts, email and accounts you can see so you can add your work emails or your personal Microsoft emails. Also, you can add it here. OK, you can add in a access. Worker school there and uh, your Microsoft accounts or uh, your school account or a uh, work related accounts. You can add it. Sync your settings. Sync your settings. You log in with a Microsoft account or a, your office Microsoft account or school Microsoft account. OK, so in your laptop in your mobile phone your tablet in your desktop, all the settings will be sync each other. Data exchange will happens like a, in my system. Uh, I have a contact list. The contact list is my old Microsoft mobile phone. OK, the contact list is belongs to old Microsoft account, which is extract on Facebook. So like that it is happened. OK, so that's it guys. So finally family and others. Here also it is asking sign in with the Microsoft account other users. OK, I'm going again. So the point is how to add a user. The point is. How to add a. User. In Windows 10. OK, so that is. We'll see again. Go to settings. Then. Accounts. OK, so this is my information. Then go to family and others guys. My first account is student one. My first account is student one. Family and others. And you have to go to this option. Add someone else. To this PC, add someone else to this PC. Like, click on it. <coughs> it is trying to get a uh, internet, so through that one, you can able to connect it to Microsoft account. But we are already disconnected from internet, so you can see no internet connection, no IP connection, nothing is there, no network at all. Only network is connected, no no communication at all, and mainly no internet access. So it is asking create a user for this PC. And this is the local account. I'm creating local account. So what to do? Give the name. So I'm giving my second account is student to. I'm giving my second account is student to. Anyways, you can put it and give the password if you want it. If you want to give the password, you can give it. If you don't want to give the password also, no problem. And you can click next and uh, that's it. I'm closing it. Guys, now tell me how to add a user. Go to uh, open the Windows button, then go to settings, then after accounts. Family and users, right? Other users. Add someone else to this piece. For a second user, I'm not giving password. OK, so you can give password if you want. No problem. I'm not giving uh, not required like that, but no problem. You can give the password also. No problem. OK, give the password. 
I'm not giving. So on next. Okay. Next. Okay, see user is added. We can see user is added is a local account and it asking you want to remove it or you want to change account type. So if you click on change account type. And it is asking this account type is standard user. You want to make him as a administrator. Also you can make him as a administrator also. If you click OK, you become an administrator. So my system will have two administrators. OK, like that. So this is the standard account only standard user. I'm not doing anything. Just how to change from standard user to administrator or administrator to standard user. So like this, you can able to change it. OK, if you want to remove it, you can remove it also. If you click remove. And it is asking. Do you want to delete account and data also? OK, you want to delete. User account and data also like that it shows. OK, guys, we are created an account. That's it, right? So this PC now having two users. Two users are there. So I want to log in with the second user before going to log in with the second user. I want to tell what is user profile. The question is. What is user profile? Look at here guys. I added a user and. Uh, so I'm going to file explorer. This is my file explorer. This PC. C drive C drive users users. See you can see only student one. Where is the student to because I am not at login to this PC. Obviously student two is not there. OK, OK, OK. I thought I stopped recording. OK, so student two is not there. Why? Because of I am not at login with the student two. If I log in, then only student two folder will be created here. Remember C drive users student one is there because of I already logged in with the student one student two I created I added but it is not showing why because of I'm not at login with the student two next. If I open this student one you can you see what it is showing contacts desktop documents downloads favorites links music one drive pictures saved games searches and videos and so on other things also will come up on by using computer. OK, it is the same as like this. See, see, I am creating a small file here. OK, yes, yes. In the SS I put it. This is yes, yes by student one. OK, so I created a file on my desktop. OK, and I'm going this location users student one here you can find a student desktop open the desktop you can find a file here see so meaning is when you create a file on your main desktop okay it create that file actually inside your c drive only c drive users under your username desktop only it is created same goes for like this this is the desktop see Quick access desktop. This this PC desktop. Same thing only. Documents, downloads, music, pictures. So like uh, here is a uh, pictures are there. See, I click on this picture, and I'm creating a, a small picture here. A one, and you want to edit this one? Also, you can edit it. Edit. So I put a like this one. OK, so I put a something on this picture. See, I put a picture this PC pictures and I put a picture. Now I'm going to C drive. Users student one. Pictures see it is there. 
so wherever i create these are the direct links to my c drive only c drive users under username the data which is we store in this location data storing in this location is this particular users profile data so what are the profile data as you can see the location usually users personal data example student 1 you can see desktop document desktop document downloads shares you know earlier windows xp like that you have a my desktop my documents my downloads my pictures so that represents that users pictures like that videos links favorites okay uh, what are the spelling of favorites anything contacts okay so these are the some of the examples of your profile data remember guys Now we are object on. Hmm. Not access by other user in the same PC. Both are in the same PC, but they cannot able to access. the profile data so what is the profile data it is the data which is in the c users that user name under that one what are the data is means student 1 desktop is different student 2 desktop is different okay to show that one only i created a picture and that one okay so first one is that one uh, method 2 of creating user is there right so method 2 is also there that is also i will show now but before that one i have to write so first one is press the windows button settings um the accounts family and others then select add someone Let's use this PC. Then uh, so give username. So I given my username is student two. Okay. And you want to give password two times. You have to give password. Then next. Okay. the second way how to create a user there are so many ways usually you have to go to control panel and create it but in windows 10 even you go to control panel it will read it to here only so one another way is local user why it is not try local users and computer actually it is showing local security and Yeah, I'm searching for a some thing. Okay, this is local security. Maybe that shortcut is removed. That shit is not showing. Okay, computer management. So I'm going to computer manage directly. You can open from it. Okay, you can open the computer management kind of stuff.
uh, you can use this one also. OK, L U S R M G R. OK, so you can find local users and groups. So like this. Local users and groups. These are the users. You can see student one and student two. Student one and student two. Like this, you can open from the computer management. OK, uh, we can go to run guys run. L U S R. MGR dot MSC. LU SR MGR. So, okay, like this. Click OK. So, obviously, local users and computers will open directly. Only this one will open instead of. Uh, computer manager. So click on a uh, users. You can see what are the users in your PC. You can able to view. Uh, don't worry. Just, uh, I will change the settings till the time it will. Very big. Hello, sir. Yeah, tell me, tell me. Uh, could you can copy the data to virtual box to uh, original PC? Virtual box, yeah, you can do it. So from here to my physical machine, I can do it. We can do it, uh, but we'll see this. See, um, Yeah, I got to doubt that one only. So, it becomes slow whenever we use a magnifier. So, better uh, remove this thing. Okay. Main thing is uh, VMware is useful to add multiple accounts in one, one system, right? Very good. Correct. So not add multiple accounts. We can run multiple voices. In one system. OK. Right, so this is my. Voices. Yeah, in VMware we can run. This is one voice. Right. see this is my one operating system Windows 10. I can run a what are the application I want to run in this one. I want to run Windows server. I can run here. I'll create another virtual machine. I'll run. OK, so when I show you Windows Server, that time you will understand two machines parallelly running in a single physical machine without touching a physical machine means. Without ha uh, having another physical machine. OK. Yeah, we can drag and drop the uh, files, but it's not working now. So I can leave it. How many are like that, sir? sir. Yeah. It depends upon your physical resources, guys. Um, like, for example. Uh, yeah, this is another virtual machine. You want to run this one. Uh, I will choose very small machine first. OK, uh, this is one GB Linux machine. OK. So because you are uh, you will get that. So why it took a, this machine is a CLI based machine faster. It will boot. GI machine is also there, but it is slower. OK, so it is booting. This is my Windows. This is my Linux. OK. So I want my Windows first, so I'm not want to skip. Guys, I want to complete what I'm trying to say. So this is local users and groups. Here also you can create a accounts. Just I want to show you. This is by default administrator in my PC. The black arrow down means it is disabled. The guest is also disabled. OK, 
so this is administrator this is the guest this is a account which is i created first that is the student one this is the student two next you want to create a new user here just right click on this white space and you can find a new user simply click on new user and give the user name full name you want it description passwords if you want it okay you can select unselect these options so then you can able to create an account simply like you want to create it student 3 so put a something like a, i put a name is vedic description is a vedic user like a password you can put it and click on a create and you will create a user okay so this is how you can able to create a user from here guys this is a not a windows 10 it is a common for all windows operating system this method is common for all windows operating systems okay i don't want an extra user that's why i didn't create i don't want extra user to create that's why i didn't create it second you want to give the password or you want to change the password also you can do it like click on the user right click you can set the password you can set the password like see, you can see it asking proceed so you can able to give the password okay you can give the password like this set the password you can set the password or reset the password of user without going searching in a more part okay so simply you can able to change the password also and also you can delete the user also you can delete the user you can rename the user you can go to properties of user and also you can change the things for the user also okay so this is no need to change anything you can go to that options and we can do it so that is called a local users and groups options this is the groups guys so it's showing different set of groups different type of groups it is showing here it is so each group based on the you are member of that group automatically you will get certain rights like you want to become administrator you add a user to this particular group like see student one is an administrator and uh, the user is in this particular group administrators administrator is a user is belongs to administrators group student 2 is not showing here is not showing here why because of student 2 is not a administrator is a standard user student 2 is a standard user you want to add a student to 2 then also you can do it like search for a student 2 okay click ok then click ok automatically student to become a administrator automatically student to become a administrator i'm not doing that one i make it a standard user only. okay so like that we can able to add it so this is about your groups different type of groups each group member means a user is a member of a particular group automatically the user will get certain rights okay certain privileges so this is local users and group users you can able to add a user or a delete a user rename the user we can give the password and change the password for the user it is not only in windows 10 it is there in a all type of operating system guess how to go very simple way you can go that is go to run put a command is like a l u s r m g r dot m s c l u s r m g r dot m s c click ok so obviously it will open directly and also you can go to that option from computer management also okay this is the users and what are the users are there you can enable it also like if you want to enable it go to properties if you unselect this one automatically this account is enabled this account is enabled automatically also you can disable the accounts also so this is about your user account how to add a user account so this is the first way this is a second way so go to run how to go to run windows plus r how to go to run windows plus r 
Windows button and R. Parallelly, you have to click it. Kepler smaller, anything okay. Kepler smaller, anything is okay. Windows is important thing is no case sensitive, no case sensitive. Capital letters, small letters, don't worry. Okay, and uh, there you give like this, then you will go to local users and group. Here you can go to users. Okay, so then you can add a user. So we can add a user. We can delete user. Sir. You can rename. Yeah, tell me. Uh, could you send to the data via virtual box to another PC via local net plan? Through LAN you want or uh, directly drag and drop you want? Uh, through LAN. Yeah, we can uh, do it. Local LAN. So see, here it is. This is your virtual machine. Okay. This is your virtual machine. And where is your physical machine? This is your physical machine. Okay. So both are connected either bridging to your physical network or a virtual network. Okay, so here is my virtual adapter and this is also connected through virtual adapter. So they easily through network both will communicate each other. Both will communicate each other. Physical PC and virtual PC both can communicate each other through the virtual adapter or by bridging to physical adapter. So you can share the data here. You can access the data from here or you can share the data from here and you can access the data from here. This, this PC to another PC, sir. It is like a one PC to another PC only. Ah, yes, sir. Okay, okay. Okay. One PC to another PC, but you have to understand this network connectivity. Okay. Uh, because uh, all the points I can't cover in a one single shot. Okay. So there is a lot of scenarios are there. That's why I'm not telling. <coughs> I will tell you no problem. Anyway, afternoon I will show you how to share the folder. There uh, uh, I will try to show you how to connect the network first. Guys, this is the way we can able to create an account. So the last one is guys, I created a user, right? So I created a user, second user I added student two. Okay, whatever it is, I have an account student two, I added. Now I want to log in. How to log in? First log out from here. Click on this current user account. You can find sign out. Guys, if you click on a user account that is called a switching user, this is sign out sign in kind of stuff. Always better is sign out sign in. Okay, sign out sign in is always best option. So click on a sign out. First sign out from the account. So very simple basic thing is what is the difference between sign out? What happens when you do sign sign out? Okay, so when you do sign out, all current running applications and data applications files what are it is closed services user services means user based services system based services are there user services will stops that is a called a sign out okay so that is sign out so what happened in a sign out what is this switch user? Switch user means log into login with other user without
dot sign out current user. Okay. What is switching user? Sign in, log in, sign in or a login. Login or a sign in. And in with other user without signing out current user. Okay. So how to sign in again? Select a student to. So I'm selecting student to. I didn't give any password for student to. Just click on a sign in. Guys, it will take time, just uh, five, 10 minutes at least it will take time. So this is how we can able to log in with the other user. So I sign out, I sign in with the other user. And uh, meanwhile, someone asked me a question that is, um, this machine to machine through network transmitting a data. OK, uh, in generally. This is my virtual machine and this is my physical machine. And we have a feature in either in virtual box or a virtual machines. OK, so once you install a tools. What is the feature it is? I have a data here. I can drag and drop the data into this one. Drag and drop the data into this. One. OK, like this. But maybe through network adapter or without network adapter. Yeah, one more I said now. This is my Windows 10 guys. This is my Linux. See, this is my Linux. That is one of This is my Linux IP address. Linux commands, Linux ls space l. If you know Linux, then you can what I am doing, so you'll understand. You know, you, you don't require to know Linux also. This is my Linux PC. This is my Linux PC. I'm powering off my Linux PC. Okay, this is my Linux PC. This is my Windows PC. Yeah, it is asking again. For uh, each user, no? sir. Change. Yeah. Sir, can you please show how we can drag and drop the data from physical machine to virtual machine? Why we need that much? This right? <laughs> I will show you. No problem. I will show you. Okay. Definitely. Will show. Okay, guys. See, on desktop, I created a file where it is located. It is not showing here. But why is this? Okay, it's not showing here. Next. See. Um, documents. Desktop, not showing anything. Downloads. Documents. I created a picture. Where is that picture? Or maybe go to this PC. Select. Pictures. Where is that picture? Anybody will tell? It is, it is in student one, sir. 
it is in student, student. one okay i am a student two i am a student two so obviously one user profile data cannot be accessed by other users see it is i want to see users then you can see student one student two earlier student two is not appear now it is appear because i log in first time when a user is log into the system for first time itself the user's profile data will be created user's profile data is created and it stores in this location only okay in this location all remaining are like a shortcuts type only okay so desktop see it is not there pictures the picture is not showing because it's a student to two folder if i go to student one then i can able to see it but i can't able to see it because permission then I, you cannot see other users profile data guys understand profile data user user differences one user to another login and log out okay now what i am going to do is again i am sign out from the student one and going back to sorry sign out from the student two i am going back to student one guys switching user means directly selecting user okay so without switching without sign out current user you want to go to another user that is like this by selecting like this okay so without sign out or a close the current running applications in the particular user in the current user you want to go to another user that is called a switching user directly you can select the username you want to sign out from the current user and log in with another user so you must sign out first later we can decide sign out so i'm signing out my user lock is different guys user lock is different lock is different just a temporary locking system okay so you are going out for a 5 10 minutes someone will do if your system is open directly someone will change something in your system right so you can lock your system also okay you thought sign out you can lock your system temporary one so it is not like a temporary one so locking system lock means user lock without closing running applications or open files okay so this is my user see again it is showing like this so i am in a current user guys when you do next practicals make sure which user you currently log in which user currently log in okay so this is the current user thing yeah i am trying to drag the files from one place to another place but uh, it is also not agreeing yeah see can you see this one plus mark i'm dragging a file from here to here and when you see it is a plus mark but you can see here it again i will try again so see here it is this is my file and i'm dragging it by using a mouse and then just drag to this one if it is showing that cross mark means you cannot copy if it is showing a plus mark like earlier you can copy okay so maybe there is a problem inside again earlier it is it is directly you can able to copy okay.
Okay, so maybe I will try to copy here. We'll try this one at least five. Actually, this is the process, guys. Very simple to copy from your physical machine to virtual machine. But it is not agreeing, so I want to do something with this one. So put all control inside at least. Like this also, you can sign out or a lock. So I'm signing out. Alt control insert for a virtual machine and also alt control for a moving your mouse from your virtual machine to outside alt control this is my mouse is locked inside of the virtual machine okay this is mouse is locked inside a virtual machine if in case alt control for moving out okay. now you want to drag and drop Nothing. Why it is showing like this? Yeah, now it is showing the plus mark. Means we can able to copy the data. At least the mouse. Okay. Now this is files are copied into my desktop. See, in my virtual machine. This is how you can able to copy. Dot clarified. Sometimes you can able to copy. Sometimes there is some. Uh, problem may be there, so sometimes you cannot able to do it. But the important thing is to do the drag and drop. You must install the VMware tools, otherwise you can't able to do drag and drop. Okay. Understand or not? Succeed, not succeed. Okay. So that's it for today, guys. Not today, <laughs> for morning session. Afternoon class is there. So afternoon again, we'll see practicals. Tomorrow also class is there mostly. Okay. So tomorrow morning and afternoon class is there. Okay. Otherwise, Windows 10 won't finish easily because that too you are a lot of for lot of people. Um, it is completely new. The virtual machine, machine Windows 10 doing all these things. Windows 10 knows, but doing in the Windows 10 is new. So that's why I'm going very slowly and that to next practicals like a, that is network management servers and all from Monday onwards that is. Go for fast and I don't get a more time to explain. So we go with the less time to explanation. OK, more time practice will you will get it, but less time thing. OK, so like this. Uh, guys, I'm in a student one. I'm not shutting down my virtual machine currently. So just I minimize because afternoon class is there now. I will use it. So I'll stop recording.